Howdy, y'all. Name's Clover. Welcome back to the Creator Compass series, where we talk about how to tackle the challenging world of content creation, cultivating a community, and building a brand without burning ourselves out in the process. If you caught the time management video earlier in the series, y'all will remember I mentioned taking time each week to plan and schedule content. Today, I want to spend a bit more time specifically on how I manage all my social medias at once, especially since finding a good posting schedule, responding to comments, keeping up with multiple platforms can all be really overwhelming, especially without the right tool in your belt. For me, that tool is Metricool. Metricool is basically a home base for managing all your social media. So instead of bouncing around between TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Threads, Blue Sky, Twitter, Twitch, trying to remember what's scheduled where or digging through a dozen apps to check comments and analytics and all that stuff, right? Metricool pulls everything together and puts it into one dashboard. All your platforms, all your posts, all your data, right there, all in one place. For me, it's a good way to keep things tidy and manageable and lets me spend more time on actually creating things instead of chasing down what I post where and when and how. Let's take a look at how I actually use Metricool day to day. This here is the calendar view, and it's where I go to start planning all kinds of social media posts. When you open the calendar, you'll see your whole week laid out in front of you. All the days, all the time slots, and all your connected platforms listed right there. You can also change the view, the calendar view, if you want to see just that day, the week, or the entire month, just to kind of get an idea of how much planning you've got done. And then getting things scheduled is as simple as a click, drag, and drop. That's it. No hunting down files to re-upload or post six different times on six different apps. It's literally just a single click and you can get started posting. But before I get into explaining how you post, I actually want to look at this for a second because one of the most helpful parts of this page is actually the best times heat map. See, what Metrical will do is look at your entire audience activity and show you when your community is the most active and most likely to see your content. So you'll see on your heat map, these darker areas are when your audience is the most concentrated, whereas the lighter areas are where they're not on quite as much. The way I personally use this is that I look for the spots where most of my platforms overlap. So for me, that's usually around 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. So instead of trying to chase different times available for every single day and every single platform and so on and so forth, I just stick to those times that I know work best and just post steady and predictable every single day. That way it's easy for me and it's easy for my audience to keep up with when I'm posting. Then the main takeaway here is that consistency is more important than perfection. So once you've picked out your post and windows, your audience will actually learn that rhythm and engagement will build naturally. So don't overthink this part. Just pick a time that feels doable, show up there regularly for a few weeks and just kind of see how the numbers respond. So once I'm ready to post some content, I just pick that time and day that I'm ready to post it on and it'll pop open this post creation window. And this is where you're going to do all the fine tuning and everything before you actually schedule anywhere. So inside that window, you're going to choose what type of post you're making. Is it a video, an image, multiple images, text only? Is it a reel or a short? There's a whole bunch of different options, especially for each platform, so definitely take some time to take a look at everything that you're clicking on. There are settings for all kinds of things in here. So if you're planning a short form video, like a TikTok, Instagram Reel, YouTube Short, something like that, right? You can also choose the cover frame. Metrical lets you scrub through the entire video to choose your thumbnail, or you can upload a custom image completely. Of course, if you're posting something like a TikTok or a Instagram Reel, things like that, uh, that feature isn't fully supported on every single platform. So just make sure that you keep that in mind while setting this up. When it comes to short form content, typically I will set a frame from the video that I like and then just call it a day. Then there is of course the caption box where you can write pretty much anything you want the post to say. So um, actually a fun little keyboard shortcut, if y'all didn't know this on desktop, if you press the windows key and the period button at the same time, You'll get a little pop-up window for emojis if you fancy using them. <laughs> One of my favorite features on Metricool is actually the ability to save text templates. So if you have like a format that you use a lot, like stream announcements, credits, hashtags, maybe a favorite set of emojis, all that good stuff, you can actually save it 
into a little text template and then pull it up instantly instead of rewriting it from scratch every single time. It is a huge time saver, especially when you're posting regularly and like platforms like Instagram that you can have like 30 different hashtags on. You can just click it and go. You can also choose whether you want to edit once for all platforms or go in and edit individually for each platform. So like if I want the same caption everywhere, I can write it once and then let it roll out to every platform automatically. But maybe I want shorter wording on threads or the million hashtags that I like to use on Instagram. Maybe I'm going to include a link for Blue Sky, right? I can just switch to edit by network and make those little adjustments without ever leaving the window. It keeps everything native without all the copy and paste nonsense that you would normally have to do. So it's actually very intuitive and, and very, very nice to work with. There's also unique platform settings at the bottom that you can tailor and just as you need. So like if you're posting to YouTube, right, you can go down there and edit the video title, choose your audience, decide what kind of visibility you want, and even assign a playlist for the post. Very similar to how you would set things up if you were actually posting on YouTube. And you know, each platform has their own unique options, so just be sure to check these out and double check them each time before posting just to make sure you have all the right settings on. For a while there, I actually kept accidentally posting to TikTok with my comments turned off. Um, and that's just because I wasn't checking beforehand and I just didn't realize that they were switched off. Once you got everything all set up, you can actually double check your preview to see what the post will look like when it goes live and then decide if you want to post it immediately or choose the exact date and time that you want to schedule it and you're good to go. I always like to take a second to look back at my weekly calendar and see if the flow feels right. You know, I don't want it to be too heavy on one day and then empty in the middle of the week. You know, I want everything to be nice and spread out very evenly and smoothly. So it helps keep the content steady so that your audience doesn't feel like they're getting drowned out with your content one day and then dry on the next, you know? Also want to point out, because I wish someone had told me this earlier, is that Metricool actually has an app. And the way it functions on desktop versus mobile, each shine in different ways. Both versions actually have a lot of value and make the whole process feel very natural. So for me, desktop version is where I do all my heavy lifting. This is where I sit down during my planning block, open up the calendar, and drag everything into place. Desktop version actually has way more flexibility than mobile. That's kind of a given, you know, typically desktop you can do a lot more than on mobile, right? But it's a lot easier to move posts around, see the whole schedule at once, compare best time heat maps, uh, and edit posts across multiple platforms side by side. Perfect for having the whole workshop laid out right in front of you and being able to move things around very fluidly, very natively, very easily. The mobile app, on the other hand, is kind of like a little pocket helper. <laughs> I use it for on the go posting, like if I have like a little silly midday thought and I want to post that quickly to like Twitter or Threads or Blue Sky, um, and I can post that all at the same time through the app. Or if I'm out running errands and need to toss up a quick update to something, you know, I'm able to do it, boom, very easily. It's, it's honestly so perfect for the spontaneous posts where I don't need to like calendar it up and schedule, you know. It's also amazing for checking comments and responding to folks. That way, instead of opening up six different apps all the time and tabbing through them like their security cameras and Five Nights at Freddy's, um, and then also getting distracted by things happening on my timeline and accidentally down scrolling for 30 minutes, I can just open up the Metricool app, tap on the comments section there in my little inbox, and reply to everyone all in one spot. So in short, desktop is where I plan out my posting schedule and mobile is where I stay present and responsive. All right, so real quick, I know a lot of folks talk about analytics and being there studying graphs and charts like it's a stock market every single day. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, that just ain't me. And that's mostly just for my own personal peace of mind, if I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I just, I don't want every creative decision to feel like it's math homework, but every now and then, like, Maybe something just blew up out of nowhere or it flopped so hard that it dent the dirt, right? I, I'll pop into Metricool and I'll peek around and see what might have caused it. And the part I appreciate is really everything is laid out very clean and simple and neatly. Personally, I don't have a whole lot I can say on the analytics tab because I just don't spend a whole lot of time in there. But if you're someone who really loves digging into the numbers and would like somewhere to centralize all of your analytics into one spot so you don't got tabbed through all the apps, Ventricool has a ton in there for you to look at and make real good use of. 
Another thing pretty neat about it and something that I lean on pretty often is how easy it is to keep different projects organized side by side without everything getting all tangled up. So what do I mean by that? Well, many of y'all know I run this brand, Moo Moo Clover, as my main, but I also got a side brand in for my gaming and I actually help my partner schedule their shorts every week. And posting to multiple brands can get super messy if I'm trying to hold it all up in my head or trying to log into 15, 16 different accounts on my phone, right? So if you're someone who's juggling multiple projects, maybe you've got an art account and then a gaming account or however you like to divvy up your channels, right? Or maybe you're helping out a friend, you're a partner or even a client with their posting schedules and their content. Having everything organized this way can make your life a whole lot calmer. And I know this is a very specific thing and you might not need it now, but the more that you grow or if you ever decide to manage more channels, it's good to know that the space is already there for you if you need it. So before we go any further, I do want to talk a little bit about the differences between the free version of Metrical and the premium plans of Metrical because I know for a lot of folks this is the first question that comes to mind and that's totally valid because no one wants to jump in. I certainly don't want to jump into something new or feel pressured to like pay for something before I even know if it's going to help me. Actually the real nice thing about Metrical is that you absolutely do not have to pay for nothing. So you can connect one brand. You can schedule up to 50 posts a month, which is quite a bit, honestly, especially if you're just starting out, that is quite a bit. You can use the calendar view, check basic analytics, use the heat map to see when your audience is active, and even set up a smart link page, which I ain't never done, but from what I'm looking at, it looks kind of like a link tree, basically. That's honestly, that's way more than enough to start building a posting routine, learn the layout of Metricool, and test whether or not this tool actually will support your workflow. A lot of folks get a ton of value out of the free version alone, especially they're just starting to get consistent or they're, you know, posting to just a handful of platforms. Premium comes into play once you start needing more space. Maybe you're posting daily or multiple times a day on multiple platforms, so you need that more than 50 scheduled posts, or you want deeper analytics to help you with your decisions instead of guessing, because from what I understand, an analytics page on free, you only get three months, whereas on the paid version, you get a lifetime's worth of analytics. So premium opens up bulk scheduling, auto lists for repeated content, more advanced analytics, more connected accounts, team access if you're working with someone else, and just a lot more flexibility overall. For me, I started out with the basic tools and let things unfold as I went. I used what I needed in the moment, and as I got more comfortable with the platform and my workflow started getting a little busier, I found myself wanting a little bit more space to organize everything, so that's when I felt like upgrading was right for me. Let's take a quick moment to talk about common worries that float around the creative world. Things I've heard a lot over the years and honestly, I've believed at one point in my life as well. Because I know tools like Metricool can start sounding intimidating if you've only ever heard bits and pieces through the grapevine. One of the big ones I hear is the idea that using third-party schedulers are going to tank your reach or shadow ban your posts. Y'all, I just, I gotta stress this, I can't stress this enough. That just ain't how it works. Okay, every major platform has openly stated that using a scheduling tool is perfectly fine. They wouldn't offer their own built-in scheduling options if it hurt performance. What really matters for reach is the quality of your content and whether people are going to engage with it. So it ain't about how you got it on the timeline, how you get it out there to the platform. Basically, you can think of a scheduler as a delivery truck. It just delivers items that don't actually change what's inside the package. Another fear is that scheduled posts feel less authentic, like somehow you're cheating or being robotic if you plan ahead. But <laughs> truthfully, scheduling is nothing to do with pretending to be online when you ain't. It's about making space so that you can actually be present when it matters. Right, so what, is, what do I mean by that? Well, basically scheduling frees up my brain so that instead of stressing over when to post, where to post, how to post, how many times to post, right, I can actually just hang out with y'all in the comments, right? Like I can, I can talk to folks and enjoy being a part of the community that we're building together. So to me, that feels a lot more real than the panic posting every time I think I'm falling behind or needing to keep up with this 
she posted now so she must be online now like this sort of stigma the other idea is that if you ain't posting constantly then you're doing something wrong which i promise you oh lord i promise you that is not even close to the truth okay consistency beats chaos every single time so even if that means that you're only posting once or twice a week i promise it will take you so much further than trying to burn yourself out blasting out content every single day if you just don't got it in your spoons to be posting every single day okay so if any of these thoughts have ever held you back you can go ahead and sit them down using tools don't make you less creative it don't make you less engaged and it certainly don't make you fake okay you're just using it to help you build something sustainable so that you can keep showing up and focusing on the parts of content creation you're passionate about Alrighty, y'all i think i've yapped y'all's ears off long enough so i really hope this helps take a little bit of weight off your shoulders when it comes to keeping up with social media because i know how quickly it can feel chaotic or stressful or like you're constantly chasing the clock if you do decide to give metrical a try i hope it brings you the same piece of joy that it brings me i'll put my link down below if you want to check it out and if you found other ways to ease the pressure of content posting, let us know in the comments below. The whole point of the Creator Compass series is figuring out what tools and practices are out there to support us so that we can keep making what we care about without burning ourselves out. And of course, if y'all have any questions or would like to pick my brain on other parts of content creation, be sure to comment it down below. As always, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.